Hi everybody, it's uh, Birdie's Babies here without Birdie. <laughs> I asked her to come in off the porch, but she didn't want to come. You can't make a bird do something they don't want to do, I'm telling you what. Anyway, so we're without um, the flashes of yellow and orange today. <laughs> um, so I thought I'd come on and change Olga because uh, I just haven't paid a lot of attention to this doll since I got her. And I don't know why. She's pretty cute. And I thought, well, maybe I should change her to a boy. What do you think? I don't know. Anyway, here she is. And I thought, I got her, I, I, well, I got a couple new things in, and I thought I'd see if they'd fit her. She's kind of a bigger baby, you know, she's not newborn. She's more of three months. So, you know how that goes. Um, some things are too big and some things are too small, blah, 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 blah. But I got a couple new things that I want to try on her. And uh, I like her little hands, the way they, you know, the way they are. They're pretty cute. And her little feet are pretty cute. I, was, I heard somebody say that Cassie Brace's feet were too small for the skull. So I don't know whether that's true on this baby or not. I can't really tell. It might be. Um, because, you know, of course, the bigger feet fit better with the shoes. Because they don't make shoes real tiny like this. So, anyway, okay. So, how's everybody doing? Has anybody been watching the Olympics? I'm bored with the Olympics now. Simone Biles has pulled out. <laughs> I feel so sorry for that poor girl. She's got a problem with... Uh, She's got a mental, you know, a depression problem and anxiety or whatever. There's a lot of pressure on these athletes. And, uh, you know, with some, some sport like gymnastics where they're flying in the air and they have to really concentrate, um, It's dangerous for them, you know, not to be able to concentrate real hard if they're thinking about something else or whatever. So it's dangerous. So she pulled out. Well, I say good for her because, you know, that's smart. That's just smart. So, I'm, you know, for one thing, they come on every morning and give you all the results, right? And then you're supposed to watch the competition during the day if you already know the results. Nah, I don't know. I have to either stop watching the results or stop watching the competition or whatever. I don't know. Okay, so the first thing we're going to try on is something that I'm pretty sure is going to be too big. But I love this little thing, and I think maybe it'll fit. If it's too big for her, I guess it'll probably fit Maggie or Sue soon. Everything today has birds on it. Just so you know. <laughs> Whenever I see something with birds on it, I'm like, aha, are these babies, right? <laughs> <sighs> I love birds. Okay. There's just something so amazing about birds, isn't there? And you can't believe how smart they are. I mean, you just can't believe the little tiny thing, like, little tiny head like that could be so smart. But they really are. Like, that bird is way smarter than my dogs. And my dogs are not stupid. You know, I have a poodle. Poodles are very smart. But I swear this bird is smarter than that poodle. I saw, and my sister sent me a video the other day of uh, 
a seagull, you know, the seagulls, um, going into the 7-Eleven, it was, it trucked right on up to the automatic doors, you know, and it trucked right on up there and the doors open and it trucked right on in and went to one of the bottom shelves where there were some snacks, snacky type things, you know, like potato ch chips and stuff. Grabbed one of those snacks, walked back, by this time the door had closed, walked back to the door, waited for the door to open, came back out and dropped its thing and started pecking to get the wrapping off. Can you believe that? I mean, how, I mean, that bird must have watched that happen so many times before it figured out it could get in there too. I don't know, but that is really, and that's just a seagull, you know, I mean, there's a million seagulls. <laughs> They're gonna take over the world. <laughs> Smarter than we are. Oh God. So, okay, let's try this. this I like this because it's real thin cotton. Let's try this on her and see how it works. Hey, how you doing there? Huh? You doing all right? Yep, okay. So, I think I might have to roll the cuffs up a little bit, even if it does fit on her everywhere else. Because I'm pretty sure the legs are gonna be too long, but we'll see. You never can tell until you get it on, right? I'm not exactly sure what's, I don't know whether she's 21 inches or 22 inches or exactly what size. She's the Esme Sculpt by Cassie Brace. Um, and it's kind of long sold out, so have it on McPherson's or not? I gotta look it up. I don't know, this might fit. It might just fit there, girl. Wouldn't that be nice? I mean, it's a little baggy, but I like baby clothes baggy. I don't know. And see, it has little birds on it with a little singing. It has little singing notes here in the back. Does it have that in the front? Yeah, see these little notes here? The little tiny birds with flowers on their head. <laughs> see him singing? <sighs> I like this outfit a lot. This is uh, Little Green Rascals. Little Green Rascals, one of my favorites. And you know, I just, you know, I get on their mailing list and when they have a sale, it's usually a pretty good sale. And I only buy when it's on sale. Unless I'm looking for like a specific, like an Easter outfit. I wouldn't go to Little Green Rascals for that anyway. But Little Green Rascals is great for play clothes play clothes, you know, nothing real fancy. And most of my babies are in play clothes anyway, or sleepers, or, you know. Okay, let's see how this fits. It's not too bad, right? Look, I think I could sort of, let's see what this looks like if the cuffs are rolled up. It looks kind of dopey, doesn't it? No, it doesn't look too bad. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't mind it. I kind of like it. What do you think, guys? What do you think? I didn't bring a lovey out for you, sweetie. How come? How come? Why didn't I do that? What did you have with you? I can't even remember. All my dolls have a lovey. I just ordered a new bear for Percy because the bear was just, it was a funny little bear that I got in a box opening. And it's a, it has a, <laughs> it has a holly, piece of holly on its stomach. You know, it's a Christmas bear. And uh, so I always have to <laughs> cover that up in pictures. You know, I always have to put their arm inside of it or something, you know. 
so it doesn't look like a Christmas picture. So anyway, I ordered a new bear from this site called Tedsy, T-E-D-S-Y. I'm telling you, they have the cutest, cutest, cutest bears, and they're all art bears, you know? I mean, they're all one-of-a-kind, artist-done bears. I mean, they're not, and they're just, I don't know. I, I mean, I could spend hours looking at that site. So what do you think about this outfit? I think it looks nice and summery. What do you think, sweetie? What do you think? Huh? I feel bad that you don't have a little lovey here with you. Let me, hold on a minute. Let me get something. Hold everything. Hold the needs are lovey. <laughs> Let's brush your hair a little bit. Stahl has the most fabulous hair. You know, sometimes that makes a big difference. If you have a doll with hair, you want it to be nice hair. I have had some dolls with, I'm telling you what, lots of thick, thick hair, but it was awful hair. Awful, tangly, knotty, horrible hair. This is very nice. Very nice hair. It never gets tangly. It very rarely gets messy, even when she lays on it. So anyway, I'm going to show you um, these other little things, just because I haven't opened them yet. And it's something to take up a little part of the video. Is there anything else I was going to discuss? People are talking about, you know, if you get a snarky comment on your videos, should you block the person? Well, hell yeah, you should block them. <laughs> okay. That's a cute little romper, isn't it? And it's got, what are those birds called? I don't know what these are supposed to be. Some kind of hornbill, some kind of seabird it looks like. It's got a little ruffle in the back. Cute, huh? This came from Tea Company, T-E-A, Tea Company. They have cute clothes and their clothes run small. So like this is zero to three. This would fit her too though. See this one is zero to three, but it's, that place that but you know like you can't put like there's zero to three so, will sometimes fit a newborn at a tea company well a lot of times they fit the newborn and this one is just a little this one is like a shorty romper this has no ruffle just ruffle on the sleeves this has little parakeets or something on it, little hook bills. And that's cute colors, isn't it? That's Tea Company too. I think they were having a bird thing going on. All right, so that's it guys. And um, hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful, what's today, Wednesday. And, uh, you know, keep on trucking. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. And Olga's gonna probably go to sleep now. Wouldn't you say? She looks pretty sleepy to me. What do you think, Olga? All right, so, um, nice talking to you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.